Hey guys, this is Sana here, and in this video, I want to focus on section 2 of PageBot. I will start by giving a small overview of section 2, and then I will move on to the tips for section 2, and then I will move on to conclusions uh, or summary of all the tips that I gave. Uh, so this overview of section 2 is that it is um, 36 questions in 45 minutes. So you have about 80 seconds to do one question. Timing is not a problem here if you can read fast. If reading is a bit slow for you, then you should look out for timing here. More, more over, this section is um, as heavy as section one. It is 40% of the overall um, exam. So it is important to also give it um, equal amount of time as section one. My first or my biggest tip that uh, that I applied the most when I was doing my HBAT was learning the book, the vocabulary. This section is quite influenced by um, the different vocab that it contains. And uh, this is the most sure and most uh, most efficient way of improving your marks in this section. The other tips that I'm gonna provide for this section um, really depend on how uh, effective you are or or depend on a, on a person by person basis, but, but for vocab, everybody can learn the vocabulary and then improve their marks in this section. You have to really focus on um, words that are kind of similar to each other because they have the tendency to put um, words that are similar but have a different tone in multiple uh, choice questions. So for example, they can put uh, a word such as violence or aggression and you will have to then um, be able to f figure out which word best describes the situation. So not only you have to learn the vocab, live different vocab, you have to learn um, different um, degrees or different or different small differences between similar words or synonyms if you wanna, uh, if you call it that way. And it is also important for vocab that you know the tone of uh, a word. A, a tip here is that when I was learning for the vocab, I will type a word in Google and then I will I will go to the to the, to the suggested synonyms and I will. I'll learn all that as well. Second um, tip that you have to keep in mind is you are reading a passage uh, about people's interactions or people's behavior or mood um, or something like that. So you have to make sure that you can read your own bias or uh, the person's bias in that situation. This section is really, really influenced by your own um, understanding of situations or your own uh, cultural upbringing or your own age, your own um, your own beliefs. So when you're reading a, a paragraph or a passage, you should be able to know um, your own bias and take it out of that situation and not um, and not judge that situation by your own shoes. So a tip will be when you're reading a passage, make yourself be the person in that passage. Give yourself the the mindset of the of the character or the person in the passage, and also maybe think about uh, the passage in terms of an um, age point of view. How will a child react to the situation, or how will an old person react to the situation? And another thing to keep in mind is um, you sh uh, there's a difference between uh, behaving in a professional manner or behaving rude or courteous. So some passages will, will include a doctor interacting with a patient. The, the doctor might be behaving professionally, but if you look at it from, an, an, uh, from a, a point of view where it's not a professional uh, setting, then you might think that the doctor's behavior is maybe rude or maybe the patient's behavior is a bit rude. So you have to keep that in mind as well. Another thing to keep in mind is when you're reading the passage, um, underline um, strong words or strong emotive language. Words such as never, always, um, forever. Um, these are very strong or very um, emotive uh, words that can help you determine whether the situation is one way or another way. Some people might find that their speed or reading speed is a bit slow or it's not as fast and they are running out of time for this section even though the section is quite doable in the time provided. I think uh, one of the ways that you can improve your reading reading speed is by timing yourself and um, making sure that you finish a passage in a time in, in the time that you set yourself in on and if you can then maybe after the time is finished force yourself to write down what you read that will improve your comprehension. I will very, very recommend to read, 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 reading up to HBAT. Read anything you can find. Read um, like blog posts, articles, news, anything that you get, like even novels, anything you can get your hand on to get yourself used to reading passages, used 
to reading like fictional novels or, or like an article, like anything. Just um, get yourself used to um, reading and comprehending at the same time. I really think group study is good for all sections, but it is imperative for this section because it will help you figure out what other people think about a passage or about um, a, a, an answer because this section is influenced by what most people will think about a situation and it's not really there's no right 100% right or wrong then it is important to see what other people's opinions about a passage is finally um, this section has quite a few uh, cartoons satirical cartoons or comic strip and they are very enjoyable uh, while practicing so I highly recommend practicing them and they're fun, they're not that hard. When it comes to cartoons, it's important to be able to read the atmosphere, the tone, the facial uh, features or expressions of the characters. So I will put up an example here and I will tell you an example of a question they can ask about the situation. So uh, uh, an example of a question that they can ask is, what is the tone of the doctor? Uh, is it um, serious, sardonic, um, sarcastic, or belligerent? And you will be able to, you will have to be uh, able to know the meanings of these words, know the differences between these words, and then find an answer. Which is why I highly think that learning the vocab, especially the minute differences between each word, is very important and can increase your um, mark considerably more. Another tip is to think like an examiner or think like uh, the person who made the HVAT. And as you can see, it's very easy to do, especially when it comes to these cartoons or um, uh, or these um, comic strip. Uh, just being able to figure out what kind of a question could be asked will help you understand the minds of the examiner and will help you understand what answer is needed. Lastly, a lot of people recommend uh, Emotional Intelligence by Daniel Goleman for this section. And after having read it, um, I think it's a phenomenal book that really, really helped me uh, in sixth year when, you know, the 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 pressure for getting the perfect grades are really high and the pressure to do your work. I think that book really helped me in that regard, but I do not think that that book is by any means um, what is needed to get a good grade in section two. It's a very good book for your overall life in general, but um, it doesn't have that kind of an impact on your section two. So I recommend reading it for your life, but if you have uh, you don't have that much time if, uh, leading up to your HVAT, then pass up on it and uh, in summary vocab is very important for this section in improving your reading speed is uh, is also essential and learning how to answer cartoon questions will guarantee that those few questions that come up in the H better regarding cartoons will be correct and you will get a higher grade. Also, group study can be very beneficial to people and lastly um, to be able to judge whether a situation is appropriate or not, uh, professional or not or to be able to look at your own bias in a situation when reading a paragraph or a passage is very important.